Well, first I would like to think that he's a curious guy. He's a curious and quite determined that whatever he set his mind to do, he does not back from it, whatever happens, and he's ready to go to any measures to get what he has to do done. It's been nice, really nice, experiencing uh, everything that, that is happening. First of all, the guys in the crew and uh, interacting with the other characters and uh, seeing them bring out their characters as they're supposed to be, being mean, others helpful, others sympathetic and everything. It has been really nice playing the character. Well, I didn't know about it before, but once it was introduced to me, I, I, I got the book through a friend. A friend of mine had the book, David, that is, from school. He got the book, and uh, from him, I borrowed the book, read the book. And yeah, from there, I, I could get uh, what I was getting into, yeah, the culture and everything, how he was able to pull out the stuff and everything. So that was a good head start for me towards the film. The script was pretty amazing after I had read the book because the way, uh, the, way the writer pulled out the script, it was the way he combined the concepts together to bring up a whole new story from the original one. It was really amazing for me, yeah. I didn't know if I could pull it off myself, but it's really amazing, yeah. It's been nice. I first, I first met him when he came to Kenya, yeah. At that time, uh, I was a bit anxious and everything, so we couldn't work well. Okay, not, not, as, not as that, but we're not that close. But uh, as we've been working together, we grew closer. And it has been really a nice experience, learning how to do things, learning how not to do things, and what's right for you and what's not. So I think in this journey, I'll, I'll really get a lot from him because he's, more, he's a more experienced actor and he knows what's good for the film industry, for the cameras and everything. Education is a really important thing to me. Uh, I'd like to say, uh, there, there is a saying that education reveals and uh, hides the vast knowledge of the, of the wise and the foolish. So that's, that is where you learn how, how exposed you are. That is where you learn what you can do and what you can't do. And that is where you learn where the world is heading to. Because without education, it's really tough for you to make it in this world. By make it a mean survive and be able to interact with everything of different places. Because education not only teaches you how to use the books, but it also teaches you how to interact with other human beings. Yeah. So there's more to it than uh, just books, books, and more books. So I think it's really important. Yeah. Challenges? Uh, no, no, not really. Maybe at first, at first I had to get my chiwa, yeah? Learning a new language, new experience and everything, which is not close to Swahili. Okay, they borrow some words from Swahili, but not as many. So at first it was a bit tough for me to get the words and uh, just to bring them out nicely as a Malawian person would speak. But I've learned, uh, I've learned to cope with it and now I, I'm, great, I'm grateful that I'm receiving commendation that I'm actually pulling it off, that uh, I can speak the, like, like the Malawians. So that was the only challenge. And also the schedules, I had to do my exams while I was here, so you understand. And Kenyan exams are exams, yeah. So that, it was not a challenge as such, but it just kept me on my toes. I had to, to do extra, I had to push, to push more, and just to, to work extra hard. That was, that was the only challenge, I suppose. Angelina Jolie, 絶賛。これは14歳の少年が一冊の本をきっかけに起こした奇跡の実話。2001年
アフリカで最も貧しい国の一つマラウイを干ばつが襲った。少年のひたむきな思いが学ぶことの大切さを伝えてくれる。風を捕まえた少年。